if you prefer a horror movie over a rom-com or a Stephen King novel over the latest Jody Picoult tearjerker, you are not alone. Why do so many people like really scary things? Most people around the world prefer horror over love stories, as is evident by the hundreds, if not thousands, of horror novels, movies, TV series, and creative horror experiences on offer everywhere. But the overwhelming love for all things scary seems counterintuitive, doesn't it? Considering all the real-life horrors happening in the world today, like war, murder, abuse, and more. So then why do we keep getting stuck on the horror channel? Science defines the love of horror as the need to experience stimulation. Being exposed to a frightening situation on screen provides both negative and positive stimulation at the same time, meaning we experience the most pleasure during the movie's scariest sequences. This type of stimulation releases adrenaline, which makes our energy levels surge. Overall, this is the type of reaction we seek out over and over again. Another reason, according to scientists, that people go out of their way to find horror and consume it is to gain experience with novelties because it allows us to live out different realities. For instance, a movie about zombies allows us to feel as though we are part of a zombie apocalypse. A movie about a serial killer can cause us to feel as though we have escaped certain death. Sometimes these types of experiences make people feel as though they've earned the right to be more daring. And then there is the absolute fascination that most people have with the dark side of humanity. This curiosity about the human psyche won't be satisfied with a documentary on the royal family. No, this type of curiosity wants to know everything there is to know about Ted Bundy, Daisy DeMelker, the Columbine school shootings, and the perpetrators of 9-11. The reason that these dark events and so-called evil people are so fascinating to us is because they belong to our own kind. Stories and movies about terrifying events draw us in because we long to understand why people would do such horrible things to others. Furthermore, while we watch these horror movies, we feel inherently safe. Which may sound contradictory, but watching horror unfold on the screen or seeing it bloom over the pages of a novel serves to remind us that while evil things do happen in real life, these specific scary monsters and serial killers can't do anything to us because we're safe at home, at the theater, or the drive-in. Clinical psychologists compare this to early childhood, when young children are just starting to stand and walk on their own they start pushing the boundaries to see how far their feet can take them. Many psychologists also believe that watching horror films or reading horror novels helps us feel as though we are preparing ourselves for the unimaginable. And it makes sense. Regular people don't go out to work every morning or on a trip to their friend's house thinking that something horrible is going to happen to them. But too often, the horrible thing happens. The ordinary trip becomes a nightmare and turns into a collision with an evil presence they didn't know existed in their town or city. Watching the hero or heroine defeat the monster, killer, or demon helps us feel more prepared for the horrors that might just befall us in real life. In addition to this, watching a horror film makes it easy to pick out the obvious mistakes by the victims. Scientists and psychologists also agree that consuming horror may help some people cope with anxiety and uncertainty. Again, this seems paradoxical, but studies have shown that horror fans who are faced with unexpected medical issues or other problems cope better with the sudden bad news than those who get by on rom-coms or sitcoms. Perhaps the most interesting theory about why humans love horror and everything that goes along with it is because it allows us to explore our own dark side. The vast majority of people don't like to talk about it or think about it, but it seems we all have the propensity to be violent, aggressive, and unscrupulous when left to our own devices. Of course, not everyone agrees that human nature must inevitably have a dark side, but at least there are ways to keep it in check where it exists. And if science is to be believed, Horror movies are one of the ways to do that. 
It allows us to safely explore the darkness within ourselves while we watch the horror on screen and then pack everything neatly away until the next horror movie is released. Horror movies themselves have been divided into three psychological frames. Firstly, there is the safety zone frame. In this zone, you can safely enjoy Michael Myers chopping his victims in half on screen, knowing full well he can never get to you. It must be mentioned, however, that for some people, horror movies cause anxiety to the point when they start feeling unsafe during the film. If this sounds like you, it is best to avoid horror films as heightened anxiety on that level can cause you to become physically unwell. The second frame is the detachment frame. Most people who don't really enjoy horrors but watch them to fit in with the crowd have to constantly remind themselves that what is happening on screen is not real and that all the scenes are being acted out by professional actors. The third and last frame is the control frame. Horror movie fanatics usually thrive in this frame because they believe that they can overcome any dangers that the horror movie might throw at them. It must be said, however, that enjoying horror films and novels and series should be a personal decision. If you really don't like horror, you are not doing yourself any favors by engaging with it simply because others want you to. For those who cannot handle the gore and jump scares, horror movies might affect their mental health negatively, increase levels of panic, and even bring on intrusive thoughts. For those who enjoy horrors but suffer from OCD or a mild anxiety disorder, these types of films might be helpful in facing and overcoming fears and building confidence. However, it is essential to discuss the matter with a medical doctor or psychologist if you're unsure of what the effects of a horror movie might mean for your mental health. The trick is to set personal boundaries and not be tempted to watch something outside of these boundaries simply because someone else insists on it.